Hi everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Brick Busters. Uh, I got Sean with me as a special guest today. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit, but uh, we're going to be opening the newest set of miniatures. Uh, it's uh, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Um, as you see, we're opening the case right here, and we've got the uh, case incentive that I just want to show off a little bit. Let me move this out of the way so I'm not reaching around it. Pretty slick little mini, uh, pretty much like an armored tank type of deal. But it opens up and you can put minis inside. Really cool little mini. Got some good heft to it. Uh, but yeah, that's that. All right, so uh, I think we'll just get into it. Go. So we can open. Yeah. Yeah, the set, uh, the actual book for the set doesn't come out until the 17th of next month. Uh, but this will give you sort of a little preview of what you're gonna see in the book. Uh, a lot of demons, powdered as uh, Mad Max in hell, uh, as you can see from the tank. Uh, but should have some good stuff. A lot of, a lot of demons, from what I remember. I didn't see too many spoilers for this set. Uh, it'll be fun to get into. Guys on the side of the box look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, there's a, a pit fiend on the side of the box that I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Uh, practically, um, so it looks guy. pretty. Yeah, he looks pretty hefty. There's some cool stuff on the outside of the box. Yeah. Forty-five figures and all. <laughs> yeah, each box has a, a large figure and then three smalls. All right. Ready when you are. All right, just yeah, bust in. So you play D&D? &D. I do. Excellent. Well, a little bit. A little bit. Enough to know. Enough to know what some of these things will be familiar. Armor Knights. Oh, that that's guy's slit. Yeah. I think there's a variant of that that's got like a spell effect. Spell effect? Yeah. They do that a lot with these new sets where they have sort of a translucent spell right. or lightning bolt or something or other. I found my favorite. Definitely the Legion Imp. <laughs> Sweet. We got a Yanog who's, I, I can't even say that, Hezro. That's pretty sweet though. It almost looks like a like yeah, a demonized a, werewolf. Yeah, I've seen him in Spawn. Nice. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so part of the reason I got Sean on today is that here in the shop, uh, as some of you know if you, if you come in, uh, we do magic singles. Uh, we're going to be changing that up a bit. And Sean here and uh, James's partner are going to be taking over magic singles for us. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be doing uh, magic singles in the store. Yeah, we're pretty excited. You guys got a crazy selection of cards to pick from. Yes, we're we're bringing in uh, what we think is the largest collection in Sonoma County. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. We are all really excited to have them in. Maragon. That's cool. Oh, that guy's slick. Oh, he's got a weird baby face, though. Yeah, his face is weird. That is creepy. Is it is like a, an actual... Barbed we'll devil. show you later. I'll zoom in on it. So why is this Legion of Barb Devil green and not red? So there's a lot of things in this set that I noticed that were Legion-specific. So I'm guessing that's something they're going to get into in the book. All right. Um, but they're all sort of variants on, all right. on familiar faces, so to speak. Interesting. Here's a Barnabas the Flame Skull. Which is basically just some dude's head and a little green flame. That's pretty slick. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's crack him in this next box. Yeah. Oh, oh, so this one looks humongous. Oh, is it one of the big boys? Oh, oh whoa. that one is sick. Zerial. That is cool. Fallen angel, I'm assuming. Yeah. It's neat how they did the translucence on the wings and the around the, the flame around the head. Yeah. That might be a quick pick for Fave. Yeah, his hammer is translucent. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it is. That's amazing. Wow. Amazing detail too. Yeah. The the sculpts they do on these these days are phenomenal. Um, they are constantly upping their game every time. Um, so is he a vampire? Is he a demon? Is he an angel? Looks like he's a mix of all. As I say, it looks like a little of each, really. That guy's cool looking. Look at that guy. That's pretty sweet. 
get a, yeah. probably a close up to the camera later. Oh yeah, uh, we'll do a pan over when we when we get more of these open. Uh, this one's a Rail Rhea Mantelmorn, uh, a named character, but would make for a really great NPC like warrior class. It's pretty slick. You know, Guha's. Oh yes, yeah, another. So yeah, like this guy, they're all like named after somebody specific, which I'm guessing is maybe a mini will come across in here. Uh, we got another flaming head. <laughs> the flaming heads together. Legion spined devil. That one's oh, purple. Inogu's Bargura. Another yeah, another kind of looks like a little wolf or like hyena type demon. I think there's a lot of like little spiny things in this set. Hmm. It's Mad Max themed. Yeah, right. So this is one that I saw when I was reading the listings and I was super curious about. It is an abyssal chicken. Abyssal chicken. Yeah, abyssal chicken. Literally a chicken with demon <laughs> wings. All right. Yep. For all your abyssal chicken needs, there he is. There's definitely an abyssal chicken. <laughs> you can see it in his eyes. Another Maragon, another creepy dude with a baby face. Although their hammers are a little different. They're axes. One's got more of a blunt <laughs> side. One's got kind of a pike. And we've got Mickey, the flesh golem. <laughs> Literally, Mickey is such a weird name. Literally, name is Mickey. There's got to be a story there. He's got a worm coming out of his mouth. It's kind of what it looks like, right? Or like yeah. something sewed on. That's, there's some creepy stuff in this set. That's cool, though. I dig all the like little stitch details with pieces together. I got myself a maw demon. You guys are pretty slick. Got all kinds of arms and mouths coming out. Got Marinoth. Probably butchered that name, but looks like a wizard. Oh yeah, Some yeah. Sort. Pro probably pretty good for a player character. Oh for sure. Cool little bits. He's got like a little key ring. I think it's a little flaming staff. Nepper Ebo. Kind of looks like a. Looks like the clown from Spawn. Oh, it totally looks like the clown from Spawn. Yeah. Somebody should, somebody should customize his character to look like a clown from right? Spawn. Right, just a, all it needs is a little paint around the face. Yeah. I mean, it's a small face, but yeah. that'd be actually pretty, pretty cool customization. Uh, kind of looks like it, it reminds me of a lemur, but like a really fat lemur. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Nino Gothu's Dretch. It's like a little moss dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not used to Dretch's looking like. They're usually kind of like brown. You guys have like these weird green lumps. Uh, cool looking. Look yeah, another uh, another Mickey. Got a flash golem. Got two Mickeys. Can we get three? <laughs> well, we'll get three. Sure. <laughs> Oh, this guy's slick. Uh, it's a uh, Mahadi. It's like a, almost like a cat folk, but, but modeled after like a, a tiger, almost like a snow tiger. It's got a white and black, black stripes. Uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool little mini. Uh, what is the name of those cat folk? Uh, tabaxi. Tabaxi? Yeah, Tabaxi or the cat folk. Uh, it, in D&D. &D. Um, Isn't there another one? Uh, it starts with an R. Rish. Oh, or, or cautious, yeah. Like. They are more lion modeled, aren't yeah. they? Because the other ones are more like a... Like feline. Like a lean jungle cat yeah. look. I can't think of what their name is, though. It is something like that, though. It's another Legion imp. We got another uh, barbed Legion devil. Oh, Two sweet. of those guys. What's this thing? Oh, Legion ice devil. Oh, that guy's cool. Looks like a sentinel of some sort. 
Yeah, he's got sort of like these insect mandibles, uh, kind of a lizard body, but cool armor on that guy. Feels very like um, 300, you know, like he's got that gladiator armor. Arm, Harmon, man. <laughs> that guy's pretty sweet. Got a flaming sword. Uh -huh. Right, can't go wrong with the flaming nice, sword. Nice, awesome Spartan helmet. Uh huh. Perfect, yeah, there is sort of like a Spartan like design a, in some of this a stuff. A Dread Knight or something. Yeah. Ooh, here's another big boy. Yeah, that guy's on the side of the box, isn't he? Yeah, Legion Horn Devil. Yeah. That guy's cool. He's got a big, big shield. Uh -huh. He's got a big shield and some kind of like crazy spear that almost looks like a. I don't know, almost like some kind of wrench. Uh, spikes. Um, but I like how they've been doing this. I don't know if you can see too well, but on the ones that they got lofted, instead of, they used to just do these tiny little posts, uh, but they're doing things a bit more substantial now, so a little less prone to breaking, uh, better for the bigger minis. Yeah. Um, I really like that transition to the larger uh, posts uh, for all the flying things. I know some of my figures are broken many a time from the oh, little for tiny sure. posts. Exactly, you try to stick it back on there because it falls off. And, and they never fit correctly. No, nah, they never go in quite right. <laughs> we got another, uh, for the last guy out of this box, another uh, spined legion oh, right devil. On. One of those little flying purple bat dudes. Yeah. So you got a babau. This guy's cool. I'm not used to Babao's looking like this. I always feel like he should look more monkey-like. It's got like some kind of weird horn. Yeah, horn thing coming up off his head. It's a cool design. He's got bloody hands. Definitely more menacing. Glab. Papa Razul. Oh, that guy's cool. Like a demon, wow. dragon, human. Yeah, he's got sort of a dragony face. He's got like little T Rex arms. He's got, and then his crab, he's got, big he's got crab. Four arms. Mm -hmm. Four arms to win. <laughs> right. It's not messing around. Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's cool though. I like that. I like that sculpt. And uh, yeah, we got another abyssal chicken. Because <laughs> he can't have enough. Uh, I've got a. And Nizu. Um, this is another guy that I noticed when I was going through. I don't know if he's on the box or not, but I really dug the design on this guy. He's sort of like a like a wide trolley looking dude, but he's got these cool little wings, lots of cool little details on the back uh, and on the front, really, of his robes. Um, kind of feels like um, I don't know, like a vizier of the demon world, you know, or. Uh Varus from Game of Thrones. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's cool, right? It's, it's a cool sculpt. Well, we got one on the side of the box. Five Fire Flog Druid. Oh, that's the one with the spell effect thing. Yeah. Oh, that looks a lot cooler in person than it did yeah, in any of the pictures that I've seen. It doesn't look that great on the box, but it looks much better in person. Yeah, and even the pictures that I got online don't nearly show the amount of detail that are on this mini. It kind of washes it out. A lot of times on the uh, they overlight yeah, minis, they overlight, so it, yeah. so it just washes out all the details. But this is a really cool mini. I like how the smell effects going minute, from the hand and, down. Yeah, it's more of a medium size than a small. Yeah, I thought it was going to be closer to, you know, like your standard player character, but yeah, it does come up a little bit taller than that. That's cool. Got a Wulazel. I butchered that one. <laughs> I know that. Oh, that guy's cool. He's like a little goat demon. Yeah. Looks like he's going to help Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it's not a safe. <laughs> straight line, straight line. <laughs> so got another flame and skull. A little Barnabas. Can't get enough flame and skull. You can't. You want another abyssal chicken. It's a pack of little guys. Huh? Huh? Got another one of these werewolf dudes. Oh, sweet. I like those guys. 
I like all the spines and stuff they put on it. Really made it feel like you know, it's like the kind of thing you watch your demons to look like. Warning is yeah. sharp. <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of these have little pricks. You know? uh, another is that Nupper Nupperibo? Another oversized. Yeah, your your chance gamer. to try and uh, I know. Right? I just <laughs> venture my way through. <laughs> I just like talking about the cool. Don't worry, I got the other version of him. A oh a lemur. Lemur. Yeah. 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 See, that's the that's the skinny, skinny that's version. The, and that. That's the one that's about to explode. It's the normal version, right? Okay, we can put all them together. Yeah. Uh, I got a Yagnoloth. This guy looks cool. This is kind of like feels more classic demon to me. If yeah. he was green, he would kind of look like Savage Dragon. Yeah. You know, except for the loin claw. But a pretty cool minute. And it, I know it looks like he has the flaming head guy in his hand. He doesn't. It looks. Well, like that would be sweet if he <laughs> somehow pulled that effect out and put a yeah. flaming skull. Got another uh, another baby face, <laughs> and that's what he will be dubbed no, as, <laughs> right? Baby face. Out, another baby face. They are really pretty cool. It is a, it's a player character, right? Um, Maybe. no, I don't. I don't think so. I think that would just be a, some, some kind of mob. <coughs> Another one of these guys. Oh, sweet! Another bow. Another bow. So you guys are moving in middle of next month. Uh, Probably yeah, we, we start moving in uh, around the 16th. We will be officially open on the 27th of uh, September for the pre-release. Throwing a bell drain. To see you all there. Yeah, it's going to be a great set for anyone that plays Magic. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, Themed, uh, it's fairy tale, fairy tale, right. and like Arthurian legend, right? Yeah. Like fairy tales and uh, uh, Grimm's fairy tales are in it. Uh, a lot of fae. Mm -hmm. What's that? It, it is a uh, Legion Bone Devil. So it, it looks like you can tell it's your classic Bone Devil. You can tell by the spiny tail, just the way the body is. But it's got this really cool armoring on it. So I guess that's the thing with most of this Legion stuff is a lot of it's sort of what you're used to yet armored or maybe a slightly different color palette but this guy's cool he's got these crazy almost like real thin yeah. textured insect wings yeah right it's, it's weird <laughs> yeah yeah it's cool though it feels like there's something coming off of it but there's not really anything coming off yeah of it. it's not it's not like a moth no but it yeah. feels like it. it feels like it could be hopefully they're not out there taking the wings off the moths no please don't yeah uh, we got another uh, Legion Barb Devil, but this one has double axe instead of a flame. Oh, hand. slick. It's cool to see some of the variants in there. They always do that in these. Like, sometimes it's pretty subtle, like with these guys. You can see this one's got the, the hammer back, and this one's got the pike back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they just sneak those in. Uh, this is a Inagu's Quasit. Again, kind of like a Quasit, but he's got little. I don't know if those are. Some kind of weapon, or if he's just got like hooks for hands. Kind of looks like just hooks for hands. This guy's kind of cool. Oh, sweet, another one of those lion dudes. You notice their hands are wrong? No. Oh, his thumbs are on the wrong side. His hands are wrong. They're on the wrong hands. That's so weird. <laughs> I looked at Is this it one. On that one too? Yeah, it's on this one too. I, maybe that's a lore thing I don't know about. I don't know if they made that a genuine mistake, but now that I notice, I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it either. I was like looking at it, I was like, it's, his hand's weird. Right, either he's got the weirdest pinky coming either, out. Either his hands are like this, normally, or they're supposed to be normal. But yeah, but no, but you can see he's got his hand turned in. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Oh, that's weird. That's going to creep me out. Uh, I got look, a Legion awesome. Aranus. Yeah, this one's cool. Again, they're doing the thicker bases for these. They're flying. Cool little armor details. Again, that real Spartan design. Another little flaming head. <laughs> we have a, we have a lot of those little flaming head guys. We got another one of these guys with the loin cloth. Oh, right on. It's a cool little demon. Got a Ballister Fisk. Yeah, it's got to make a cool little 
player character. Yeah. Almost has like a swashbucklerly swashbuckler look to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't make too many. I mean, I guess there were a handful of pirate movies. One of the last sets. But. Still no uh, Legion Pit Fiend to speak of, but we'll get one of those eventually. I'm excited to see what that looks like. It looks cool from the box. I don't know. The bows, but it doesn't have a spear this time. Oh, okay. It's just one holding his hands up. A jazz hand to bow. Yeah. Let's see, it's a, another one of these crab guys. Yeah, they're just like. Got another. Uh, Legion Imp. Oh, kind of sweet. Little flaming ball. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that that's something that they got like strapped to their back. That's cool. Yeah. What we got here? Maw Demon. Oh, yeah. I know he's picked little... up one of those guys. Yeah. Another uh, one of these Legion guys. Although this guy's got a little shield. We like... had one of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of them's got a spear. A trident. Is it a trident? Mm hmm. That's a trident. Realize that. Yeah, there's always cool little details in the alts for these. Another uh, Bulgara. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Werewolf demon. Werewolf spiny demon. Spiny demon looking dude. Uh -huh. Another Legion Barb Devil. With two axes. Not to be confused with the guy with one axe <laughs> that can do magic. Right? <laughs> it's his offing. Keys. So far. Or not too many duplicates. No, it's, it's pretty consistent. When you open a case, at least our my experience with it's been, uh, you get at least one of everything, including the, some of the rare ones. Uh, which tend to be some of the, the bigger minis like this one's no doubt a rare. Yeah. Uh, same for this guy over here. I'll do this one too. Uh, yeah, I like this guy. Mostly like the name figures, they fall later in the, in the set. You can tell by the higher the number, the more rare the mini. Um, that tends to be the, the rule of thumb. So this guy being 43 is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This guy being 42. Well, I was going to say, I think the set only goes to 45, so yeah. it's up there. And then I think the incentive is actually the 45, so he's, he's really high up there. Uh, there's another Legion Ice Devil. We had right here. Guys. Oh, this is another one that I saw. It's Mad Maggie. Mad Maggie. Yeah, she kind of has like a uh, witch doctor look about her. I think the only other witch doctor looking one I saw was a, looked a lot older. Um, she doesn't look as old, I mean, for a witch doctor. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Another one of these dudes with the flame staff. Sneak this guy in here. And another baby face. Another baby face. Yep. We'll end up with at least three more of those. <laughs> yep. Maybe more. Alright. Alright, next, next brick. Next brick. Open a brick of Dungeons and Dragons figures. Right, you know, it's a change of pace yeah. from opening all the packs of magic. Yeah, no kidding. You know, it's definitely, yeah. definitely different. Yeah, when you open something instead of getting fifteen little things, you only get four. Yeah, that's true. And these are uh, bigger. Uh huh. More packaging. <laughs> yes, a lot, a lot more packaging. Sometimes after opening packs. Look back at all the stuff you open. It's just bags on bags of packs. Yes. Trash bits full. Yeah. <laughs> Dumpsters full. <laughs> Dumpsters full for sure. The old guy fell out of his bag. We got another dredge. Uh, right on.
glad I'm coming across with these guys. I really dig this one. I think people are going to want this as a player character. He's pretty sweet. Mage. Yeah, yeah, with the flaming staff. Got another Legion uh, Barb Devil. Oh, yeah. This one has the flaming ball in his hand. It's nice when they do that. It gives you a little variety so that when you laying stuff out, you can distinguish between them. Got another player character. Oh, cool. Another one of those druids. Yeah. Those are really Super cool. Super tall ones. druids. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm really curious what the story is about those now. Some of them are little goat guys. And a lemur. Oh, that another one of those like uh, annoying cloth demons. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if they're any different, but it looks like they're the same. Yeah, they look about the same. Usually when they do something different, they'll either do like a different color, uh, maybe a different offhand weapon. Sometimes they change the weapon a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I know that there was a set that they made one's cape dark blue and the other one's cape dark green, and you really, unless you had them right next to each other, they looked exactly the same. Yeah. yeah, I like that if you're going to make a difference, at least you should be able to eyeball it from across the table. Um, Got another one of the Legion Horn Devils. Nice. One of the rares. Yeah, that guy's really cool. I really like the little flame effect coming out of his head. Yeah. It almost looks like some kind of little metallic crown piece from the back. Yeah. yeah that's cool. Let's see. Very interesting. Another Barl Gura. In there. Baby face. Got another baby face. Baby face. Five. <laughs> Reminds me of a. Uh, what are they? There's some bug that I always like. Uh, not crickets, but I always feel like uh, crickets or grasshoppers have weird little. Yeah. Uh, like human esque heads. Potato bug? Yes. About. Yes. A weird giant ant thing. Yeah, that has a little baby face. Yeah, potato yeah. bug. Yeah. Those things are creepy. They're super creepy. Right. So got another Mickey here. It'll come out. Mickey, I got another uh, this little chicken. Nice. Another lemur, also. Sweet. Normal lemur. There we go. I don't know how I feel about these inserts. They get a little deep. It's a little hard to kind of get them out without just popping them out the bottom. Granted, they used to just have all kinds of mixed match yeah, inserts to put them in. Some were in the twisty correctly. ties. I mean, there are all kinds of weird shapes. We made it a pain to throw away because it just didn't stack good. This one just didn't even want to stay in its holder. Oh, ready to jump out. Yeah, we got another. It's cool, we got another one of those. Oh. Yeah, oh, that one's okay. a little darker in the hammer. Yeah, the hammer's not translucent on this one. Really? It's not. Oh, that's weird. So we got the variant. I didn't even know there was a variant. Maybe it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they didn't finish the paint job. You got a misprint, guys. Uh, yeah, I know. It's misprint. like a misprint at that point. <laughs> that's cool. I kind of dig the one with the weird phantom translucent hammer. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Got another one in. It's funny because you don't see too many misprints in that sort of respect when it comes to minis. They're way no. consistent with it, but uh, the only misprints I'm used to seeing are things like they'll put the wrong base on a mini. It'll say it's one thing and it's really something else. I've never seen a D and D misprint. Yeah. Got another baby face. Another baby face. Can't get away from the baby face. It's the scariest thing if I saw that coming across. From anywhere. Ooh. Little metal baby heads. Another abyssal chicken. Uh, also another abyssal chicken. This one's a little bit uh, not completed correctly though. It's got a bunch of glue on the on the base. Oh yeah, it looks like a bunch of glue came out. How funny. You got another Legion him. My favorite. <laughs> flame ball. Uh -huh. So he's carrying a little bomb. Yeah. And then we got another uh, Bullzaloo, the uh, goat dude. Nice. 
nice. I don't even see where they went, where you went. Uh, I oh, think they're up front. Yeah. All the same guys together, make it easier. Okay, so here's another one of these guys, uh, an Armonite, but it's got a Ooh. spell effect in the hand. He's got like this sort of, uh, I don't know even how to describe lightning this. Lightning bolt? It's, it feels a little weird for a lightning bolt though, right? Like it looks, it almost looks like a spine, but like a, like a thunder spine, I don't know. Yeah. A weird plasma sword. Kind of looks like the lightning bolt from Percy Jackson. Oh, that's real spastic. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that uh, Percy throws. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. I like that better than a spine bolt. Spiny bolt. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys just got back from Vegas. We did. We just uh, we were just there for a week. And it was up for, inventory, uh, selling inventory. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty fun. Yeah, last week, uh, last weekend, there was a big GP uh, for Magic out in out in Vegas. Yeah, and if you know, uh, Hogak got banned and Faithful Sudden got banned. Two of uh, the menaces of uh, modern. Uh, but on a better note, Stoneforge got unbanned, and no one expected that. Right, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's good. It's yeah, redoing the entire format. Yeah. Sir. So, we'll see if Cobblade's going to take off again. I don't believe so, because it's missing a lot of key uh, draw power that it needed, but we'll see what happens. You never know. Anything to mix it up. And they, honestly, if they give it six to nine months, and if they decide to ban something else and unban something else, it all balances out in the end. That's true. Uh, got happens. a Legion Chain Devil. Check out that guy. Whoa. Right? Feels like almost out of Hellraiser. He's got spines coming out of his head, chains all over the place. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. He's rare. Yeah. 33 out of 45. Mm. That's freaking sweet. Yeah. All right, new favorite. <laughs> Legion Chain right. Devil. Upgrade. Yeah. All right. We got another Hazru, one of the werewolf dudes. I probably butchered the name again. And <laughs> I'll continue to butcher it. Right, just lean into it. Uh, another baby face. Nice. Baby face. <laughs> This one's got the, the pike on the back, though. Oh, that's cool. I'd like to see the variety of that. So here's a mini that I saw that I was really curious about because I've seen it listed as an individual, or as two individuals are, are together as one. Mm -hmm. They are like creepy baby face. Creepy baby um, face. So it's a, a mini that can either be, now that I am seeing it, either separate where you can have the writer, I mean, here's his legs. Okay. Um, or you can have them on the nightmare. So here's the nightmare. So it's a, a two in one. It's miniature. like a two in one. Because um, I had seen really terrible resolution spoilers of this set before it came out. Mm -hmm. And in those, I had always seen them together, and then when I was putting my my listings up on our website, I saw them listed separate, and then I saw somewhere else they were listed together. So I wasn't really sure what the deal was with this, um, but it looks like it comes with either a little saddle that you can put on the nightmare, so that it can just be a nightmare, and then you can put them together as he's got a it's like a oh yep look there's his other legs. Oh, there's the other saddle with the legs. Right? So then you can either put the torso here on the horse, and he's riding his horse. Or you can jump off his horse. It feels like Legos at this point. And then put him on his standing legs. Oh, wizards. Right? But fits in pretty well once you get him in. It's like snug. You don't feel like he's going to drop off. He's got a cool flame lance. It'd be a little weird to store the pieces because now you just got these weird disembodied legs somewhere. But but actually a really cool idea for a mini. I've never seen them. It's like a transformer mini. Yeah. You know? 
it comes together in different ways. Really pretty cool. It's like a great idea that I've never seen them do before. Second and rarest miniature in the set. 44 out of 45. Interesting. And then they've got this one labeled as 45, so they have them numbered as separate minis, but they very obviously go together. To, yeah, they'll obviously come together, hopefully. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know why you would want them separate when they interact like that. That is really cool. Um, I've Cars never seen them gone. do that with a mini before. Whoa. That's cool. Warning. Choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of choking hazards. <laughs> All kinds of little bits with this set. It's so cool. We got another Fisk. That is that is probably the sweetest mini in the set. Yeah. That, uh... Yeah, it's just nightmare writer. Yeah, just for for sheer like ingenuity of it, something different than you're into seeing than I've ever seen in another mini. Like I've never seen them do that before. I don't think we pulled this one. Yeah. Scarla True Strike. Oh yeah, she's named. She's like a rogue. It looks like a hobbit. Yeah, like a dwarf or not? Doesn't look too dwarfy. Maybe a halfling. Yeah, perfect player character. Yeah. Anybody who's trying to be a rogue. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of halfling options. I mean, there's a lot of unpainted stuff, but not a whole ton in the pre-painted. No, not the halflings. What I've seen. Yeah. Not cool ones. Yeah, not ones that you're really going to want to use as a player character, maybe. They did some, like, gnome inquisitors that were just very specific. That feels like a good general adventure. Yeah. Another crabby. We've got another Armonite. This one without... Percy Jackson's lightning bolt. <laughs> He's just running. Yeah. Barb Legion Devil. I mean, that must be correct. All the cat's hands are the right, are that way. They're all. They're all opposite. Out. Yeah, it makes me wonder if that was just a, a mistake on someone's design part. Or, or if there's some weird lore to that. Lore to that, yeah. Rhea Mantle Morn. I think we did have one of those yeah, hanging around somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Great player character. Anybody's mm -hmm. trying to play a human paladin, human. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. Human oh, soldier. Guy. Human fighter. Olanthius. This guy's cool. He's got like a. Skeletor breastplate thing and like a cool flaming sword. Feels like a good like boss big bad or like a necromancer that's He's probably a ready to bad. like throw down a little bit more than your average necromancer. Got another horror man. Guy with the flaming oh, sword. Sweet. Probably another big boss. More mm -hmm. mini boss. Probably a mini boss. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer that the book hasn't come out yet. It comes out on the 17th, but it would be fun to sort of see how these are all going to fit into that story. Yeah. Who they are, where they're going to be, what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Barnabas Flame Skull. Got another wizard. Nice. Those guys are great. They're really cool. I really dig the sculpt. They do seem a, a little tall, like the druid, actually. Yeah. Like sort of in the same height bracket. <laughs> another babau with a uh, spear. Nice. Another fisk. Sweet. That's going to make for a really good player character. I can see people using that real easy. It looks a little bit like Spock. Oh, kind of. I can see that. Let's go to when it, uh -huh, Spock has evil a Spock. Evil, yes, evil right, because he's got right. the real pointy evil Spock. Because yeah, <laughs> that's how you know he's evil. Yeah. The facial hair. That's right. Yeah. Forgot about that. Forgot. <laughs> I called myself a Trek. <laughs> Ooh, the 
another one of those yeah, guys. Yeah, another uh, Legion Horn Devil. That was like a sword. I'm really curious what that weapon would be qualified as. It's not. It's like too blunt on the edges to be a sword to me. And it, it's got a like long it's handle a like a spear. I think it's a spear. It just feels like it, I don't know. The front end seems so long with the two prongs too. It's kind of kind of odd. I'm sure there is a name for it. If you know the name for it, yeah, let us know. Let us know. We would love to know. What's cool about these guys is though. You can bend their wing slightly without breaking it. You can customize their shield because their shield is just a oh, that black would be, base shield. That would be cool to do some kind of like insignia on the shields. Yeah, yeah. And it's cool that its weapon is more accessible because then you could put like blood or something on yeah, it. Yeah, if you were gonna do like little accents, a little or bit details. of customizing, yeah. customizing to it. Yeah, I always like seeing how people customize minis, even the pre-painted stuff. Um, we got another Mickey. Another closet. Little hook hands. Trident. Trident spine devil. Sweet. Flying some purple. Spine, uh, bar purple dude. Get him in right there. Oh, here's a new one. I haven't seen this guy yet. Oh, is that a bearded devil? It is definitely a legion bearded devil. So are they normally purple and purple like that and have yeah. the, group, the green beard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the bearded devils I've seen are all kind is of that, that real, same. Is that a real, is it actual hair or is it like tentacles? Um, Cause it looks like tentacles. It looks like tentacles. I've always, I always imagined them to be tentacles. Okay. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. And they don't normally have armor I believe, right? I don't ever see them with armor. Um, More of the legion thing. We have armor. Yeah. Coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of a. Must be some kind of army or yeah, some yeah, kind of a little theme. bit more militant. We got another Babao. I'm just going to call this another Thick Lemur. Thick Lemur. Thick Lemur. We are dubbing you Thick Lemur. Mm -hmm. Getting down to it. Getting down to it and haven't seen the uh, Pit Devil yet. Oh, I haven't seen yet. one. That's a first. That's the first time that I've opened a case and not gotten one of them. Got another ice. <laughs> Got another Legion Ice Devil. Legion Imp. A duplicate box. Oh, there's Woody in this one. <laughs> Got the little spine that Devil flying one. This one's with the shield. Oh, slick. Also could customize that. Mm -hmm. The shields all kind of look like they're patterned the same. They're all sort of that triangular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Little hook hand dude. Uh -huh. Closet. Closet. And then, uh, another guy with the double, double axe. Sweet. Oh, yeah. One of the barb guys. Spine barb demon. I think. Yeah. Legion barb devil. Barb. Right, they call them devils, not demons. <laughs> Important distinctions. So that's it. Um, it'll take us a sec. I'll lay them all out, and we'll do a little flyby so you can get a closer look at a lot of these, and then uh, and then we'll pick some favorites. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Be back in just a sec.
All right, so we're back. Uh, did a quick little flyby of all the minis we got here. Uh, a few missing, but we're planning on opening up uh, a whole nother case. So hopefully by uh, tomorrow being Friday, probably by the time you're seeing this, really, uh, we should have some of the stuff we're missing along with a lot of the other stuff that we found. Uh, but real quick, we'll, we'll do a, a favorites of the bunch. Uh, Sean, you want to go first? Sure. Defer to you. Yeah, well, it was the Legion M because yeah. he was carrying a flame, flame ball. Right? But, uh, it, it feels very like magic to me. Like yeah. it feels goblin esque where they're going to send things in with bombs and stuff. Yeah. yeah but it's uh, definitely going to have to go to this one. Uh, the Chain Devil is pretty amazing. Um, it's got cool little details. I mean, it looks exactly like what a chain chain devil looks like in the books, right? Um, I don't I don't play fifth edition. I play three point five. Mm -hmm. But uh, from when I was looking at the monster manual years ago, that's uh, what you that's what I envision. It's where you just yeah. see it right away, and you're like, yep. I know exactly what that is. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the armor is a little much, but that's because of the set. The set is Legion themed, so a lot yeah. of these. A lot of these seem like they are part of the Legion, yeah. the, the army that seems like it's going out. Yeah, and you can see that consistency Probably. in the design. And yeah. The, yeah, and all the armor. That's uh, definitely got to be out there. Tank's also really awesome. Yeah, the tank is, okay. is pretty oh, sweet. What's your favorite character? Super Metal. Um, I, I got to go with that Nightmare. The Nightmare dude? Uh, yeah, the Nightmare with Guy. Um, I just, I've never seen them do this with a mini before, and it's kind of blowing my mind um, it's just cool that you're getting two for one um, it gives you different flexibility in what you can do uh, so many times people will get mounts I've seen people even have uh, minis that are custom mounts hmm. that have a you know it's a horse with a weird little flat spot so that you can put your mini in it and it never quite looks right because he's Guy, dude, standing up in sort of in the middle of a horse. Yeah, not built for that. Doesn't feel quite the same. No. Um, but this really seamlessly integrates that experience of having a mount and a rider, um, which is just super cool. I would love to see them do this with player minis characters. more often. Yeah, and with player characters, with things that people can really integrate into their characters. Um, so a cool, cool little thing. bit on this. When you're opening this, because <laughs> Albert opened it, <laughs> don't get it twisted. Uh, did it? Did it still come with the full four figurines? Like, was this an extra figurine, or was this the so fourth figurine? Um, that's a good question. I didn't even think about it when I was opening. I was so distracted yeah, by normally it. Normally, they come with four figurines. Was this Does technically this count two? As this? I think it. Did I think it did count okay. as two? Because I think I only pulled four smalls out. We'll have to. I'll go back and I'll look at the video. at the video and see. But I'm pretty sure this only counted for counted, counted for as two. two. Okay, it's an interesting question. For sure, and it really is. It's one of those. It's two minis, but is it really two minis? Would you ever not want these together? Um, okay. Yeah. Have to go and look. Let's see. But yeah, I would say I would say that's so. Before you open this favorite. guy, who's your favorite? Before I open that one, um, second place would probably it's baby faces. It is, <laughs> it, it, I, you know, <laughs> as much as I got on it for being really creepy, probably one of the most memorable things out of the set. Yeah. Um, because it caught me by surprise. I'm looking at this thing really close, and all of a sudden there's a baby's face looking back at me. It's a little unsettling, um, but it, it stuck with me. Um, yeah. Right. What, what would be your runner-up? My runner-up? Oh, probably going to have to get the baby face. Not going to lie. Right? <laughs> it was just it's it was really wrong. interesting to pull. Like Right? And it's design-wise very different from the other things. Yeah. It doesn't feel super demon-y, but still... Although not spiny and um, like malformed, it's unsettling on the same level as something yeah. that's got bones protruding out of its body. Yeah, it kind of um, reminds me of the guy from 300 uh, that ended up betraying the Spartans in, okay. in, the, in the movie. Uh -huh. Kind of, kind of like the same hunched over look, Stance, but yeah. but he's like built muscular and 
He's got cool weapons, and then he's got a baby face. <laughs> Literally a baby face. Literally a baby's face. It's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's creepy. But yeah, he's definitely been my runner up also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely most memorable. Yes. Also. Him and Mickey. Mickey's always yeah. memorable. Yeah, just because he has an interesting name. name. Right? Like Bob. Yeah. Bob. Like, how does this look like a Mickey to you? I, I, there's got to be some story element to it, but yeah. Mickey's just an odd name choice for for a, a, a world ball. like D and D, a fantasy based world. It's like, yeah, necromancer Steve or Bob. It's just odd. Yeah. All right, well, it's been fun opening. Uh, thanks for yeah. sitting in on this. Yeah, I'd be happy. Uh, Thank you for having me. Yeah, anytime. Yep. Um, so uh, visit us at our website here in the store. Uh, website's uh, www.outerplanes.com. Uh, you guys got your website up and running yet? Not currently yet. It okay. will be soon. Uh, but you do have a TCG Marketplace? We do have a TCG okay. Marketplace. It is MTG Lifestyle on TCG Player. Feel free to purchase from us uh, if you're in Sonoma County. Mm -hmm. be, uh, be, there to be there within a day. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing selection when they get in the shop again. Look, uh, end of September, early October. Yep. Uh, we're really excited about having them in the shop. It's going to be really great for anyone playing Magic, a really awesome selection of singles. Uh, it's really going to step everybody's game up yep. like you wouldn't believe. It's going to be great. Look forward to seeing you all. All right, well, have a good one. We'll see you next time.